Previously on Elohim Eternal the Babel Code, the party defeated all the rogue Anakim to take back the Babel Code. They also learned some dark truths about Avram and Cain. Unfortunately, a pair of Azars from Kenoma attacked the party in order to kidnap Rufia, so Joshua had to pilot Kapar in order to fend them off. Worse yet, the Jehudans attacked Ur and declared the party, as well as the Atkins as a whole, to be traitors. Joshua, Baos, and Rufio began their journey back to Jericho. Leaving Ugarit, they stopped by Hebron to rest. We don't get to control where we can go anymore because of the whole civil war situation. The Jehudan judges have the Atkins captured like prisoners of war. Why are they keeping them captive like that? This doesn't make any sense. Careful. They might see you. So? They're judges. We're one of them. You heard what Ham said. This isn't, isn't, this isn't about fighting who planned the Infernos. This is about conquest. It's the total takeover of Eden Knight lands and culture. This could break out into civil war. Civil war? No. I refuse to believe that. Can you trust your eyes? Look in front of you, Joshua. Those are Atkins being taken captive. Not Knights. Not even Eden Knight criminals. I, can't, I can stop this. I can explain. Explain what? And with that arm? They'll see you as a canine just like Ham did. I'll remove it then. There's no point. We just need to get to Jericho. Lamech will listen to me. Exactly. We hope. But what if Lamech got co uh, brainwashed by the Cosmo Craters? We can't take the Jordan Crossing. It's probably full of judges. We'll have to find a new route. There's only one way I know, but none of you will like it. Let me guess. We have to use an Abzu Tunnel. What is it? We'll cross the Dead Sea. Damn it! I was afraid you'd say that. What's the Dead Sea? Where you see it for yourself. Let's go. And may Hosanna watch over us. <laughs> Certain locations on Eden will be locked temporarily. The Dead Sea. I think this is where we'll find the tr treasure location because look at all the bubbles there. It looks pretty nasty, but maybe it has exactly what I need. Is this a good idea? I can see where this place got its name from. Do we get point damage if we step on the purple? Which is why we're only passing through. As fast as we can. Some prophets and oracles say that this was once a beautiful expanse of water, full of plant and wildlife. Now it's just a swamp. Destroyed by a great battle in ancient times. If only we could restore this place, but that seems uh, 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 way beyond our capabilities. Some say about battle artists say this part of Eden is not originally part of our planet. What's that supposed to mean? It means that Hosanna or the Cosmic Creators brought this part of the planet to Eden. As if they attached it and fastened it with the pillars holding Eden together. You think uh, your people think the same of Ugarit? How long will it take us to get to Jericho? A few days at the least. Don't worry. I'm sure your brothers and the others are safe. The judges want the Babel Code, and it's part of a deal of them. Bayos is right. Once we get to Jericho, I can explain everything to Lamech. He'll listen to me. And what are we waiting for? What if he will make becomes a boss? I'm a little nervous. Dead Sea? Ugh. There's a bug on the ground. The last time we spend this putrid place of error. But I want to find the treasure. Oh yeah, it does damage me. Yikes. Red Chris. Watch your step. Some of the terrain may be poisonous. Save us. Save us, O Hosanna, for the godly ones are gone, where faithful servants have vanished from the, among the heavens. They are lies to their children. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May Hosanna sever ties with the unfaithful, who are swallowed up by waves of power and control. Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says Hosanna the highest. I will place her in the safety for which she longs. The words of Hosanna are pure light, like silver refined in a, in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O Hosanna, will keep them. You will guard us from this power and control. On every side the wicked prowl, as well as is exalted among the children of... The tone of the psalm is very different from the others I've read. It's a lament, that much is for sure, but who's the psalm talking about? Could it be the Cosmic Creators? Oh wow, that's inconvenient, I can't even get there. Talent. Still sizzling hot. Why can't- why did they not make that passable? Oh, well, it's only a small amount of damage, I guess. Hmm. 
Ah, they're already berserked. No barriers, so that's the relief. Consuming. Guard. Blue Chris. What? There's poison hidden behind the tree. Dude. Nectar, it seems to keep going up. Okay, let's try this path this time. Maybe I did miss something important. Okay, this is a dead end. Titanium breastplate, okay. Blank Crystallos and Talent. Dead, dead sea artifact again? Okay. Two paths. Oops. I can see where this place gets its name. It reeks of the dead. It said that there are piles of dead people at the bottom of the Dead Sea. And that the water of the Dead Sea is actually blood. The Dead Sea for the dead from war. Not exactly. Very few battles have been fought at the Dead Sea. Both Ina and Kane consider the Dead Sea a cursed place. So that means we're unlikely to run into any judges here. Which is what makes it a safe place to travel in order to get back to Jericho, relatively speaking. Safe would not be the first word that passed my head. If owls weren't fought here, then who are the de uh, dead buried below? Those who were before us, before even Ahix, or so the story goes. Stories that we are now questioning. Which means I have no idea who or what is buried in these wars. It could still be a people who lived with Hosanna before some great tragedy befell our worlds. But what was that great tragedy? A war of some kind, but against who, what, and against whom, we don't know. I bet you the Cosmic Herders know. I think they'll tell us? Maybe if we ask nicely. We'll get Joshua to ask them. He's the favored son. Not so sure about that. Once they know if the doubts my heart. Okay, then this must be an optional area. Oh, this is where the secret is. Oh, but there's poison. Great axe. Yeah, it's right below the mushroom. So how do I get... How do I interact with it? I did it! What's this? Well, it's another map, but this one looks much older than my father's map that led me here. This one seems to point to an area in the Ishtol Forest. Perhaps I can learn more there. Okay. Good, I don't want to be attacked while... Uh, uh, t taking so much damage from the poison tiles. The Ishtol Forest is most likely where we'll fight the uh, boss, but I don't. Uh, uh, he'll probably not let us fight it until we're actually ready. Oh my! Wow, that's that is so cruel. That is cruelty. I'm going to have to use an Azure Chris at some point. Or no, just... Got the Cryo Knight. Now I can 
freeze parts of Eden that have been scorched with powerful fire magia. War made these parts of Eden impassable without the use of a Creo Knight. But nothing, there's nothing for crossing purple, only red. Okay, hopefully this is a dead end. Yup. Throwing axe. The mysterious steel feather, that's the fourth one. We should be able to open that door now. But what does it contain? It's unlocked. One ominous looking chest. It's a map that leads to Megiddo. Megiddo, the battlefield, seems to be. Has anything good ever come from Megiddo? Isn't Megiddo a wasteland? It is. A great battle has taken place there and many have died. It was the place of the first battle between the Canaanites and Edenites. It has deep history and lots of legends associated with it. Many think there are powerful weapons there. Should we investigate? I hate the idea of going to Megiddo, but what we find there might help us in our journey. Let's just be sure we're prepared for this. I remember my mother investigating Megiddo when she was a judge. Oh, is this Bayo's character quest? She never spoke of what she found there. But maybe this map will lead us to it. Whatever it, it is. Yes, this is quest. Yes, all three character quests are now known. But I highly doubt they're going to let me just grab everything from there immediately. There must be... Uh, 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 they, they probably require me to fight something sent from the Cosmic Creators first. Yeah, will they actually stop me from trying to enter Ishtol Forest? It's easy to get lost in the Ishtol Forest. It's said that the Ignites hid their families in the Ishtol Forest while soldiers and judges went to battle Canaanites. It was the safest place for those families to be, especially when the Canaanites occupied all of Eden. The forest is very quiet. Maybe even the Shadim are scared of this place. It's a thick forest, that's for sure. If it wasn't for that map, we'd be lost. My father came here years ago. I don't know why, but I should be prepared for it. I'm going to head inside alone. There's a chance there's something here that connected my father and I want to experience something that, uh, uh, that personal alone. What? Alone? Are you insane? This is the opposite of Rufia's approach, where she wanted to be super ready. What? Huh? Is it a one-on-one -on -one battle or something? Whoa, it is a Shadim. A Shadim. An incredibly large muscular Shadim. By Hosanna, this thing is a ferocious beast. For some reason, a Shadim seems familiar. Far, what do you have to, to do to become a judge? All judges must complete a sacred quest, a quest to prove they are worthy to carry the burden of the cosmic curse have laid upon us. That's not easy to do. What was your quest? My quest? Well, there was a Shadim terrorizing nearby villages and towns. It slaughtered a family, killing two young children. I knew that family. The husband had been a friend of my uh, father's and I used to take care of his children. But now they were gone, their lives taken so easily. That alone drove me to hunt down the Shadim. Someone said they saw the Shadim on, uh, in the Ishtal Forest. I spent days tracking it down. I was only a simple hunter back then, as my far it was before me. But I wanted to become a judge and I wanted to save not just my own village, but other Eden Knights as well. And I found the Shadim in a cave deep in Ishtal Forest. What did it look like? It was huge. A giant beast with a head made of steel. It had dagger-shaped teeth and bloody claws. I shouldn't be telling you all this detail. But your mother will have my head if you develop nightmares. I won't, I promise. I'll tell me more. I fought the Shadim using only my spirit and a little magia. It felt like the Shadim and I fought throughout the day and well into the night. It was the hardest fight of my life. The Shadim was twice my size and maybe even three times. But I slew it, finally, with a killing blood to its throat. Damn thing nearly tore my arm off. You shouldn't swear, Fire. Damn is not a sword, it's an expression of frustration. When I defeated the Shadim, where my abilities and prowess grew and the judges took an interest in me. So soon after I became a judge, just like your Uncle Lamech. One of these days, Fire, I'll become a judge like you. I don't know how you're still alive, I can't allow you to live. My, what if it's the son of the previous Shadim? I'll finish up my fire story and avenge the families and villages you destroyed. Why alone? This is dumb. He's- I'm gonna get slaughtered, aren't I? Well, at least I have a slight speed advantage. Reha? Fire! Okay, D good dodge. Now, fire! I should've brought frozen- uh, uh, the frozen thing. Growl?
that's it? Doesn't seem too bad. Maybe they're back up later. There's gotta be a trick that will force the entire party to intervene. This attacks are getting stronger every time. I need to finish this as quickly as possible. Heal. Yeah, it's getting stronger, all right. Ah, missed. Heal. If it didn't skip turns, this would be very hard, wouldn't it? Okay. Valor, Nectar, and Blink Crystallos. That can't have been it, right? May you all find peace once more. Huh? What's that? It's a spear. Could this be my father's spear? Tried it. Yellow. It must be really good, right? It's not gonna get power crept by something in the final dungeon, is it? Quest complete. Additional caution channel. Yeah, I have lots of options now. Trident. Hmm. Deflect all ailments. It has a little less agility than my current spear, huh? But still overall superior. So this is the ultimate weapon, or for now. We don't I don't know that for sure. Megiddo, yes. But is Megiddo going to require me to be end uh, fight endgame bosses? Megiddo was the location of a great battle between Edenites and Knights. It left this place a wasteland. Map leads us here. I think I need to go in here alone. Alone? Why? You said it yourself. This place is dangerous. I know, and all that is still true. But I have this strange feeling my mother would walk through these parts searching for something. I need to find out what it was. Please understand. Of course, I understand. But if there's trouble, you scream your heart out. Oh, my hero. Oh, shut up. Are you ready to head in? Wait. Why would that map lead me here? To a Shadim of all things. I am no ordinary Shadim. You can talk? All Shadim speak. But not in night tongue. Who are you? Do you have a name? There is the house. One enters it blind and comes out seeing. What is it? The Abzu. A school. The sacrificial chamber. It's a riddle? Oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to save scum this one. The Abzu? That is incorrect. Yeah, let me save scum. Okay. A school? Correct. Hmm. I'm writing all this down because if I have to restart, I gotta redo it all. You're a school? I consider myself a teacher. A wise man. A progenitor of wisdom. Are you suggesting that all wisdom comes from you? All Shadim are as enamored with themselves as- Are all Shadim enamored with themselves as you seem to be? You insult me. You come into my home and insult me. You live in the cave on a battlefield where Dawson's inside. Hardly a suitable home. You remind me of someone. You even smell like her. What do you mean? Uh, yes. You remind me of that woman. You carry the same scent. Woman? What woman? There was a woman who came to me once. Unlike you, she sought my wisdom. She had heard of me and tales spoken of by her people. An ancient Shadim capable of Enite speech and who, who, who has lived for thousands of years. Can you tell me this woman's name? Oh, sorry, with an R. Riva? Reba? Raya? Rahab? That's the one. You spoke my mother. That would explain the scent. Why would my mother come to you? Like I said, she saw my wisdom. The wisdom of the Sphinx. My wisdom. 
Is this something you can teach me? I would think that your mother would have taught you all that she knew. Of course she did. She's the reason I'm so inquisitive. She always encouraged me to think deeply about any subject, to strive to become its expert. And I shall test your wisdom. If you succeed in besting me, I will gift you the sword your mother used. Truly? I am not a liar. The trade is reserved for eating knights. Very well. Test me if you must. You are not prepared. Huh? Of course I am. Go on then. Ask me a question. A sheep or sword? Were to do battle? Indeed. With words and swords. Both! Oh crap. Scan. Lightning. Earth node. What? Why are you so much stronger than hit, hit the other guy's boss? First riddle, answer quickly or suffer the consequences. At night they come without being fetched, but by day they're lost without being stolen. What are they? Stars. Correct. Success. Oh, you get weaker. Cool. Frozen waters. No, I should have waited for his buff to run out, for, debuff to run out first. I can probably win a battle of attrition, but still, this riddle is getting tricky. Next riddle. I never was, and am always to be. No one ever saw me, nor ever will. Yet, and yet I am the confidence. Uh, uh, I am the confidence of all who to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. What am I? Tomorrow. Correct. If I can keep you permanently weakened throughout the fight, this is dangerous. Consume. It's a risk. But I can heal. As long as I know my margins of error, I have a chance. Next rail. There was a greenhouse. Inside the greenhouse, there was a white house. Inside the white house, there was a red house. Inside the red house, there were a lot of babies. What is it? Watermelon? I guess? Correct. I did not optimize his stats well enough, did I? Next thrill. Is there death in life with the body intact? What? Oh, come on! Yes, in poverty, yes, when drugged. Yes, in poverty? Correct. Oh, that was close. I wish that he would also take damage when I get the questions right. Next, last riddle, and then we we do battle. Which creature walks on four legs? Man. Malform Shadim praying mantis. Okay. The most basic. That's easy. The answer is man. Who, who has a baby crawls on four legs and walks two legs as an adult and in old age walks with a cane as his third leg. Correct. 
Now, Bayos, let's do battle. Oh, he's all consuming. Not good. Now he can no longer be weakened by his own riddle. I'll use this to super heal. All consuming again. Oh no, this could be bad. <gasps> that was way too close. He's no longer the buffed. I have to find an opening in the wind. Slow and steady. Oh, you're still going. Finally. Did not spec him right. He did not deal much damage even when the, well, the boss was weakened. Well done, Bayo's son of Rahab. Your best is me with your wisdom and strength. You're a formidable foe. No wonder you managed to live this long. Can you tell me if you knight history? When you're as old as I am, you forget things of the past. Time is irrelevant to me. But a promise is a promise. I will give you your murder sword. Heart pay. Thank you. I can't believe I'm saying thank you to a Shadim. You're most welcome. Good luck on your journey, Bayos. I can talk to this Shadim again? Additional Koshin channel. There we go. That power would have helped a lot. I should have used Claymore, huh? Bayos and company. It's good to see you alive and well. Shall I tell you a real? Oh, hi. I miss speaking with any knights. Sphinx and my mother. Somehow knowing that and speaking to Sphinx myself made me feel closer to her. I never knew what her missions were like as a judge. Now it seems I'm catching a glimpse of it. This place is draining. One wrong move and we can hurt ourselves. We should be careful as we continue. Draining? So you're saying the boss is right up ahead? Already? I thought we'd get a, a, a healing point first. Rufia? Shh. Do you hear something? Are you serious? This place is a cacophony of sounds. Shadim could sneak up and surprise us at any moment. I know I heard something. Come on, Rufia. There's nothing hit there. Listen. Don't you hear that? Calling? Is it a machine? An army of Shadim? Are you serious? Hey, frozen waters. Guard. Judges revolt. Everyone has frozen waters now, so that should hopefully give me a chance. There's, that's the sound again. Now I hear it. What is it? It's a whistle that attracts Shadim? Rare yourselves. A new foe, a sandworm.
Treasure's report. Sufa. Is that the last of them? Nope, there's more. It's coming from over there. Rufia, don't go alone. Remember what happened last time. Wait, you two. Oh, come on. Why do we keep getting separated? We're so dumb. Get out of the way. Is that stone? That thing is to blame. It's calling a Shadim somehow. It looks like it fell from the skies and crashed into the earth. Did it fall from a Leviathan and Behemoth? The Cosmic Curtis must have ordered this. Rufia! I'm alright. Alright? You're bleeding. I can still fight. Hurry up and use the heal spell. We have to stop the thing or else we're done for. Let's finish this then. About time you got here, Joshua. Wait, is that bleed so that's gonna be a problem? Okay, good. Hmm. No barriers, but it's quite a dis. There's quite a lot of enemies, huh? Darkness. Oh no! Not everyone has it. All consuming. Frozen waters. Breath of life. Oh no. That was close. Well, these guys had some kind of resistance or something. What the heck? So any damage taken by that, uh, the crystal gets abs uh, absorbed into the uh, minions. So this is the thing that was sent from the Cosmic Craters, huh? Damn it, I don't have enough- I didn't expect everyone would need dark magic for this, so I'm a little unprepared. And nuked. War Lance? A little late now. I already have the best weapon. I already have the yellow spear. It's finished. Your wound's not deep. I'm just so tired. We need to stop and rest. Let's hope there's a healing point nearby. Agreed. I can still go on. We can't stop now. We can't keep going like this. We'll rest and get our strength back. How is she? She seems fine, just sleeping. 
I banished the wound she has. She seems to be healing as well. That's a relief. We've been pushing ourselves too hard. We could all use some sleep. I can't wait to get back to Jericho. After this mission, I'm going to spend a month in my mother's villa. Doing nothing but relaxing. But we can't simply rest here. The place is dangerous, and we have no idea how many of those spears are still around. Where'd they come from? From heaven. From the kingdom of heaven. You think it's some kind of punishment for interfering with the civil war? I don't know. I'm going to scout the area. See if there's any more of those spears. I'll look after Rufia. Erm. Um. How do you feel? Bear. I'm sorry. Don't be. Truth be told, I was near exhaustion myself. Where's Bayos? He went to scout around. See if there's any more of those spears. Have you slept? Not really. Listen, Rufia. I want you to hold on to something for me. What? A fragment of the Babel Code? But why? I don't know what to expect when we get to Jericho. Keep this close to you. Don't give it to anyone. Not even Bayos. Keep it until your people are free. You trust me that much? I trusted you ever since we reached Ur, ever since the top of the Mount Safan. You're different from me. You look different. We have different blood. We have different beliefs. But in our hearts we are the same, you and I. We are both trying to find the truth. Keep the code, and when I'm ready, I will take it from you, but only when I know the what the judges are planning. I understand. Good. Let's get some rest. Bayos should be back soon. Find anything? Nothing. We're in the clear. Good. How's Rufia? She woke up briefly and then fell asleep again. If you need to sleep, I can stand and watch. I can't sleep. I just want to get to Jericho. Me too. How could this have happened? Are we retreating in the middle of a war amongst ourselves? I don't know. But you heard Ham. Lamech is part of this. What do you know about your uncle? He was my father's brother and has been a father to me ever since the battle at Mount Sinai. After my father died, Lamech raised me as if I was his own. He taught me everything I know about Eden, the cosmic creators, and the judges. He's a great man. Why you ask? Well, Mike is not our enemy, you know that. He wanted to stop this. Yes, yeah, he's part of it. He must be working inside the stop list. Gamara is the one to blame. Or, but then again, we don't know how much. Uh, we don't know Lamech was contacted by the Cosmic Creators. We knew this was coming. He was the one who planned, planned the Infernos and making and made new ones. Was he? Where are you getting at, Pale? Speak, speak plainly. I saw. I think I saw parts used to make Infernos in Lamech's quarters in Jericho. What? You think you saw? After we came back from the sea down sewers, I saw a part of what's made to create an inferno. It was small. I wouldn't have noticed it otherwise. I wouldn't have even known what it was that we hadn't seen in Balam's chamber. He's definitely in on this. Aw, oh, crap. We're gonna have to duel him for real, aren't we? But it's boring me ever since. Perhaps Lamech is studying the infernos. Or there are parts in the inferno that are shared among other devices. Maybe. But you have to admit that it's... I don't like where this is going, Bayos. Are you saying Lamech had something to do with the infernos in the civil war? But Jehudans are imprisoning Atticans. Gamara might be leading the charge, but Lamech follows Gamara. He hates Gamara, and he's working with Nikkei and Anakin. Gamora must have made his move and Lamech is playing along until he can stop him. We can't assume that. I know it. There's a threat within the Council of Judges. Someone, in this case Gamora, wants to total control over Eden. Lamech enlisted her help in stopping it. But the thing is, Lamech somehow survived that battle, which is suspicious. That's what we're doing now. There's something deeper here. Who are the blind ones? Isn't it obvious? The blind ones are anyone who don't follow the Cosmic Carriers. We've sinned against the Cosmic Carriers, now they're punishing us. The Cosmic Carriers don't want the Civil War to happen amongst their people any more than we do. I thought they wanted it. What are you talking about? That's, that can't be it. The Cosmic Carriers don't care about us or our sin. They're using us as pawns to do our bidding on this planet. A Civil War would help them because the longer we spend fighting each other, the less time we can uh, take trying to uh, enter Mount Sinai. Why? The Cosmic Carriers are infinitely more powerful than we are. They are omniscient and omnipresent. You, you sound ridiculous. Do I? The Cosmic Carriers are hiding something. Something in the Kingdom of Heaven. And they don't want us to know about it. You mean... We are the blind ones. We are all the blind ones. And the Cosmic Carriers want to keep it that way. Oh, the, the stone disappeared. I'm glad we were able to rest for a little while, but we can't waste any more time. No one knows what happened to the Dead Sea. I wonder what it's like before its destruction. Hmm. 
On the first, uh, Hosanna's fingers. On the first day after a flood that washed away Ahix, Hosanna began to form Eden and Sheol. The planets we know of today were formed in seven days from the remnants of older planets that were destroyed in the Great Flood. Whole pieces floated across the blackened starless skies in Hosanna with the help of cosmic prayers in Leviathan and Behemoth. Took these pieces and fastened them together using pillars. These pillars, some of these know as Hosanna's fingers, for these pillars helped the whole of Eden and Sheol. Without the pillars, the planets would break apart once more, reversing the healing touch of Hosanna. It's recovering knowing the pillars belong to Hosanna. Hosanna's with us always. Hmm. Okay, let's get this. That's a talent, but is it worth the poison? Oh, it's- oh no, there's more of these crystals I have to break. That is inconvenient, but it has to be done. Talent. It has a different element this time. What the hell? All-consuming. Frozen Wars. Breath of Life. Frozen Deaths? Oh no. Frozen Water. All consuming. All consuming. There we go. Snake Cloak? Does that accomplish anything? Dead Sea Artifact? Wait, that wasn't the last one. Blank Crystallos. Okay, and then go back to the main path. Cutscene with no warning, huh? Hopefully this won't lead to anything I'll regret. Is the road missing? There should be a path north, right? How will we get past this? There must be a way. Where are you going? You two stay here. I'm going to go find a different way through. We can help with the search. Stay here and keep watch. If something happens, I'll call out. I won't be far and I won't be long either. Oh, this is a bad idea. Be careful. How are you? Physically or emotionally? Both. Physically, I'm exhausted. Emotionally, I'm... Scared. We shouldn't have stopped. We had to. You passed out. We need to rest. And once again, I'm not strong enough to save my people. Rufia. 
We can rest when this is all over. I'm scared for my brother and others. Maybe. Maybe they'd be better off. How can you say that? We don't know what lies beyond. It's not Sheol or Kanoma. This world is broken. It's shrouded in mystery. There's so much we don't know. But I thought you wanted to learn the truth. I do, more than anything. But I don't think we're allowed to know. I've never felt so in the dark. And so alone. We have each other, don't we? If I never met you, all this might not have happened. Are you saying you regret meeting me? Regret this journey we've had together? I'm saying my family wouldn't be in danger. And neither would yours be. The Unites wouldn't be fighting right now to enter Mount Sinai. The Cosmic Critters wouldn't be having angry with us. We did this, Rufia. We're to blame for all this, tragedy. Bayos. I found a path forward. It should get us further south to the Jericho. Come, we haven't a moment to lose. Okay, that was not- that was just a cutscene, not- not an actual boss. Good. Feeling the bosses of this dungeon is gonna be an even bigger crystal, huh? Talent in Ruach. Cutlass. Valor Nectar. Another artifact. Talent. Green Chris. I hope we don't run to any more Shadim. We have fought so many. I wonder if those spears can, uh, uh, that can t call Shadim exist elsewhere on Eden. Do we have to destroy them all as part of a quest? There's one more, huh? But I don't see the artifact, the remaining one. Ancient robe. Healing. All consuming. Frozen water. Are they counterattacking? Hmm. Frozen in the water. Hmm.
sort of light. Hmm. Celestial Spear. Is it going to be another gauntlet? We're almost there. Shadim! There's another crystal nearby, isn't there? Where's the spear? I don't see one. And we didn't hear anything. I don't think there is one. Here they come. It's just a... Naturally spawned one, I guess. I'm not sure. Hmm. Frozen Wars. Church's Revolt. All right, now just you. We need to make our way closer to the exit. There's more of them! Where are they coming from? They would seem to be after us. These aren't Wild Shadim. They have a purpose, and it's to destroy us. Is it the Cosmic Creators? It must be. Then the Cosmic Creators are controlling them directly. Does it matter? Let's finish them off. They're all auto berserked. These are all the ones who were fighting alongside the spears before, huh? Hmm. She was his action. Whoops, you already used Breath of Life. That was a waste. Is it over? I can barely lift my sword arm. That's too many. Damn it. We can't keep this up. We have no choice. What's that?
Who are they? The Elohim. Joshua, are these the voices you talked about? It's some. Hurry, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, your families are in danger. Wait. Tell me who you are. Who is Isaiah? Come, Joshua. The Shadim are gone. You heard those spirits. They told us to hurry. They must be Kenomans or something. You're right. They saved us so we could go on. Bayos. But how do they use uh, uh, an AoE spell from so far away if they're supposedly somewhere else? Come on, Rufia. We have to go. We can't waste any more time. You heard of them. Our families are in danger. But how do they know that? Who are they? It doesn't matter now. Elgon is waiting for you. Aha, the final artifact. Forgotten weapon? A gun? A nautily shaped weapon that is completely rested over. There seems to be a handle, but outside of how to hold it, there's no way of knowing how it works. It seems like one would throw this weapon at the enemy. It seems heavy enough to do some serious damage. So heavy, in fact, that the weight of its power cannot be ignored. For the Dead Sea, the primordial dead cry out from the deepest waters of the Dead Sea. Those who ache devoured in their sleep, who became lifeless dolls, incapable of movement or speech. It was they who sleep, uh, uh, slept in the Shekinah with Hosanna in the Kingdom of Heaven. They who now rest in the Dead Sea. The waters of the Dead Sea is their blood, water that is undrinkable and that boils with, uh, with the cry for restitution. When will Hosanna return and purify these waters with the water of everlasting life? I don't even want to think about how many dead could be found in their water. I hope their cries for restitution won't haunt my dreams. Could that be the actual boss area? White Chris. Jericho isn't too far from here. I can see Mount Sinai. Now that we're so close to Jericho, I don't feel tired at all. We're so, so close. Leave Dead Sea. But Jericho might, must be very dangerous. Also, if we could... Uh, instead of going for the Dead Sea, why don't we just go through this forest to get home? It looks like a valid path. Weird. Ready to head in? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Finally! I guess fighting those uh, spears did the trick. What? A human? Who are you? Where? What are you? You're neither an E knight or a K knight. Where are those metal wings? I'm Gilgamesh, half god, half man. Half god? Serial number. Oh no, he's the Cosmic Crater thing. 290x1155. You're like that Giborum at Mount Safan, the one sent from the Cosmic Craters. The Cosmic Craters will stop at nothing to see us candidates extinguished. I need Bales and Joshua. Off, oh, fuck. You smell of Knight. You're my enemy and must be eliminated. My father's note had directions to this place. Did you fight my father, Mardu uh, Marduk? Marduk. Part a patron god of the city of Babylon. What? No. He was a Knight warrior. Did he come here? Did he fight him? Many of her kind used to come here to test, and test their strength. Many of them died. Others who were still not able to defeat me managed to escape. I remember my father coming home and he had wounds all over his body. Why didn't he uh, warn us, uh, us uh, more cl uh, clearly about this? And he lost his axe. His favorite axe, the one he used to take in the battle with him all the time. He was never without the axe. Did you take it from him? Defeat me and perhaps you'll find out for yourself. A humanoid, uh, 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 a humanoid, sh uh, 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 a gibberim, huh? Were those the, the archons that they spoke about? Uh, 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 that uh, uh, on spoke about? Sort of a king. Ah. He does some 164? That's not a lot of margin of, for error.
Okay, I have a little bit of time to use all consuming. And then I'll heal up. Fire! Bide my time until I have more DG to unleash a powerful combo. Ah, oh, I missed my chance! No! Oh no. Frozen war. Now's my chance to strike. All consuming. Unbelievable! It has been centuries and no one has managed to defeat me. You are no ordinary canine. Yes, of course. You are something more. You. You share something with my masters. So the ma so the Cosmicers are Kenomen. Share something with your masters? You mean the Cosmicers? I share nothing with those murderers. Well done, girl. It was a magnificent battle. What's this? Labrys, that's your father's axe. So my father was here. He was one of the few Kanaks who survived a battle with Gilgamesh. Far, wherever you are, I hope you're proud. But what did Gilgamesh mean? How can I share anything with the Cosmic Carriers? Damn it, I knew it. I'm guessing this is the co them being Cosmic Carriers will be something we learn in the very final cutscenes of the game, with no point of return, since it would be very awkward to do to learn that first and then go here. Yes. Now everyone has their yellow weapon. There's nothing for us here anymore. Nothing but curses of murdered canites. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Elohim Eternal. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.